Deputy Mayor and Honorable Michael Marcus to honor our call. MMK represented the University of the Philippines to the UAAP Track and Field Championship in 1978. He was the champion in the 5,000 meter middle distance event in a new record time of 16 minutes and 3 seconds. This man is the brain of the famous project Gintung Alay of President Mar Marcos that brought the country many medals and honor. He was the executive director from 1979 to 1986. He also was the president of uh, the Philippine Olympic Committee from 1981 to 1984. President of Amateur Boxing Association of the Philippines or ABA. He put Ilogos Norte into fame during his term as a sports uh, consultant in, uh, of the uh, Ilogos Norte Sports Development Council during the administration of former Governor Bongbong Marcos. Ilocos Norte became the Hall of Famer of the Ilocos Region Athletic Association meet for almost 11 years. Because of his dedication to public service, he was elected as board member of the first district of Ilocos Norte. And with his effort to uplift the lives of uh, his cons constituents, he continued the legacies of the, his cousin Bongbong Marcos when he was elected as governor of Ilogos Norte from 2007 to 2010. Prior to his term as a mayor of the city, he served as city councillor since December 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor speaker, Mayor Michael Marcos. Thank you, Ronald for that very nice introduction. Let me firstly greet the uh, Deputy Regional Director for Administration, Brigadier General Ferdinand Garay, sir. Let me also greet the Provincial Director, Police Colonel Cesar Pasiwen, sir. Uh, I won't greet everyone here, you've been greeted many times. I, I won't keep on repeating your names. I, I will just simply greet the INPO Press Corps, beginning with the newly inducted president, Rolando Jose. Rolando, where are you? Rolando. Together with the vice president, Ronald Baldris, the secretary, Joey Kiawit, the treasurer, Dennis Alipio, auditor, Roger Lopez, and the PIO, Romel Sabucho. I was trying to think of what to say to you uh, this day. And uh, Brigadier, Brigadier General Ferdinand Garay said certain things that I will use as a basis to talk to you uh, today. Firstly, I will... Um, remind you of what I said during the turnover ceremony uh, at the Lawak City Police Station. I said that police officers are law enforcement agents and that I would like the law enforcement agents to enforce the law but to enforce it in a fair manner and not to abuse the enforcement of law. And that the police officers should always show respect to people, especially the common town. And that they should carry themselves with dignidad. And that in so doing, they would then receive the reciprocal respect from the people. Now, I said also 
during the turnover ceremony. And I offered that to uh, Colonel Kyocho, the offer of running with the men and women of the Lawak City Police Force. As you know from my introduction, I took up running at a very early age. I took up running at the age of 14 when I was living in Australia. I'm now 64 Apo. I have been running for 50 years. 50 years, from 14 to 64. And to this day, I don't have an injury. And I can still run 10K. And I would like to be able to run with the men and women of the Lawak City Police Force. We can run down Result Street out to the bypass and we can run 5K. <laughs> with the Lawak City Police Force Apple. <laughs> Not necessarily the provincial. And um, I would like to do that in order to show the people of Lawak that uh, the men and women of the Lawak City Police Force are fit, healthy, and proactive. And I would also like, this is in reference to, sir, your, your reference about the shooting ability of the men and women in uniform. Before, I used to combat shoot. This was a long time ago. I'm Mejo Rastina, and I want to be able to take up combat shooting again. And I would also like to do that with the men and women of, of the city police. We could shoot at Talingaan, we could shoot at the Pawai, uh, the Marcos combat shooters there. I, I am not one to make statements about the police force. It is obvious to me, from my many years in public service, that it is hard to be a policeman. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. It's hard. Because you're held on a different level. People always will judge you, and it's very hard, and that's why I say to you that sometimes the job of a policeman is thankless, but you have to do that. Societies must be governed, and in order to govern a society, you must have people who do the governing. And in the modern world, we refer, we refer to the people who do the governing as policemen and women. So it's up to you to enforce the rule of law. Without the rule of law, societies can deteriorate. But at the same time, one should not go too far in enforcing the rule of law. So these are simply my observations. And I'm happy that you've invited me here. I actually respect the, the positions of policemen, soldiers, the men and women in uniform. Because as I said, it's a thankless job. It's a job that can put your life in danger. And I respect you for that. And I hope that you will work with me, and I refer to that in the city, that the men and women will work with me in the city to ensure that we have a peaceful city. I'm, I'm happy to actually be back in Ilocos Norte. For a while I went away. I went to Australia, I went to my farm in Baguio, that's why Colonel Pasiwen, actually I didn't realize, but he's my next door neighbor. He lives just above me. I have a farm in uh, Barangay Benin Pinsao. And he lives, you live where sir? In Long Long, just above me. So, um, I stayed there for a while. I stayed in Australia, I stayed in Manila, and. Now I'm back here in Ilocos Norte, specifically Lawak City. I'm happy to be back. I love Ilocos Norte. When I was campaigning uh, for the position of city mayor, we went house to house, Boong Lawak City, and I didn't realize how beautiful Lawak City was. And if all of us, if we watch cable television, if we read social media, we read the newspapers, the world is a very violent place. You just look at countries like Mexico, you look at Latin America, you look at the United States, crime is on the rise everywhere. It's not only here, it's on the rise everywhere. 
Now, maybe this is a reflection of increasing world populations. I'm not sure. But um, be that as it may, Lawag and Ilocos Norte as a whole is a peaceful place. And I'm happy to be here. And I will live out the rest of my life here, serving the people to the best of my ability. And so to all of you, thank you for having me here as your guest speaker. Thank you and good day.